I want to bring in Congressman Ed Royce, Republican from California and uh, the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Let me start by getting your reaction to the news that President Obama will not be meeting with Iran's president at the U.N. or on the sidelines of the U.N. as many had anticipated could happen. What do you think about that development? Well, I think what will happen instead is the Secretary of State <clears throat> will have those meetings. And, of course, that's just the announcement today. Things could change tomorrow uh, as Rouhani checks in with the Supreme Leader, with the Ayatollah. Uh, but at this point, clearly, the Ayatollah has said no. And ultimately, remember, the Ayatollah is the one who calls the shots on uh, the nuclear program and on diplomacy. President Obama, in his speech today, said that he had ordered Kerry uh, Secretary of State Kerry, to pursue a dialogue with Iran. You've been uh, rather hawkish on this issue. You have a legislation with a, with a Democratic counterpart uh, pushing uh, even tighter sanctions against Iran. But surely you, you don't think there's a problem with Kerry meeting with his counterpart to see if there is a diplomatic path out of this crisis? We need, we need a path, but we need a path in which Iran agrees to give up its its nuclear program, give up its enrichment, give up its uh, weapons making capability. And it's important we also realize why we're at this point. Uh, and that is the, the existing sanctions we have on Iran have forced about 600 billion out of that economy over the last two years. Capital flight is rampant. Uh, they have mass unemployment, very high inflation. And the bill that we passed, bipartisan, 400 votes in the House of Representatives into the Senate, would compound those sanctions, increase those sanctions on the regime in order to try to force them to give up those weapons. I think that's why Rouhani is now, you know, making these offers. I think they realize how much pressure is on their regime, and we're basically giving them a choice to capitulate, you know, and compromise on their, on their nuclear weapons program or face an implosion of their economy. Congressman, what do you make of Rouhani's public relations offensive. He's certainly trying to sound and seem different from Ahmadinejad and, and his predecessors. Yeah. Very clever fellow and certainly took credit uh, during his negotiations with the Europeans. Uh, his words were uh, during that process he was able to stretch out the negotiations and get the centrifuges spinning, get them online. Uh, so today you've got, uh, you know, four times uh, the, the, as many, and they're spinning four times as fast because they're much more advanced. And he takes credit for doing that. And so I think, um, I think that's been his past policy. What we need to do is make it very clear that we're, we're wise to that. We know he's playing the same playbook that, that North Korea used to get nuclear weapons, to get out from under the sanctions. Uh, so we just need to basically say, look, we'll give you 100 days from the day you came into the office. Give up your weapons program. Stop enrichment. Turn the enri enrich, you know, uranium back, and uh, we'll lift the sanctions. But we have to see that action. We, we can't let him play us the way he played the Europeans in the negotiations as he brought the centrifuges online. When you refer to the North Korean playbook, you mean you think he's going to talk a good game uh, convince the West and the U.S. to, to give up uh, these sanctions, to drop some of these sanctions, and then he will go full steam ahead into a nuclear weapons program. That's right. The Treasury Department in 2005 uh, put sanctions on North Korea that just brought everything to a halt. And unfortunately, in retrospect, we believed uh, the, uh, the offer from North Korea that they would come back to the to the table. They were desperate to get negotiations started again. But once they got those sanctions lifted, they were able to get the hard currency to finish their nuclear program. And then, and then uh, from there, they had the weapons they needed. I, I really think that we, it was a blunder for the United States not to, to increase those sanctions and keep them on in North Korea. And I think he saw that and, and saw an opportunity. I think Rouhani sees an opportunity to stretch this out the same way the North Koreans did without without the type of debilitating sanctions that we can impose. And the bill that we just passed out of the House uh, over a month ago that's in the Senate truly would bring that economy to a halt. And, and given what's at stake, given the fact that they're working on three-stage ICBMs, miniaturization of their nuclear warhead, and preparing this, you know, enriched uranium for a weapon, uh, I think we need to make it very, very clear. Congressman Ed Royce, Republican, Chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Thank